everybody, Tom Foster here with Foster Web Marketing, and we're here for another edition of Legal Leaders TV. And I'm very happy to have my special guest, good friend, James Brown, Castle Law Office in St. Louis. It's great to be here, Tom. Good to see you. Good to see you again. And you've been here a few times to shoot videos. Yes, I have. And you were actually one of our very first Foster Web Marketing clients that shot video with us, which seems like 100 years ago. Oh, yeah. And you can probably see some of those videos on his website. Yep, still there. they're still there. So you do bankruptcy law. Yes, I do. So tell me a little bit about, I mean, everybody understands what bankruptcy means, but do you, what do you do special, different with bankruptcy? You know, we've taken the approach that we fight for the little guy. You know, we're there to level the playing field between the average consumer and the giant credit industry. And I've been doing strictly bankruptcy cases for 18 years, and, and I just like the fact of being able to give them a voice against an industry that is really set up to oppress them and, and, and set up to where you can't really get ahead. Now, what makes you unique, though, is that you've been through it. Yes, I have. So what, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I was um, back in the early days, I was working at General Motors and um, uh, worked there for 10 years, getting through school, law school, things like that. And GM started laying us off and I was married, had one son, um, filed a chapter 13, which is a debt repayment plan because I was still making money so I could, I could pay the creditors. Um, wanted to keep the house and things like that, so I, I set up a payment plan. And then about two years into it, actually my last year of law school, um, they, they closed the plant altogether. So I changed my case from a Chapter 13 to a Chapter 7, and we surrendered the house, made some tough decisions, um, and basically got the fresh start that I was looking for. The experience wasn't what I wanted. The attorney got me the discharge, but there was nothing there to help me with after that. He did the paperwork, got it filed, got me a discharge, but then what's next? Because what you do after the bankruptcy is probably more important than what you do during or before. You know, we always have the saying that we take them as we find them. It doesn't matter how they got there. And we take you as you find you, but we want to help you take that fresh start. And I don't want to see you back in here again. Well, that's interesting. So you were, um, and I don't think I knew that part of the story. I knew the story, but not that distinction. So you were in law school. Were you going to become a bankruptcy attorney the entire time? Or? Not at the time, no. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. The only thing I knew is that I did not want to work for anybody else. Um, so coming out of law school, I was actually really concerned that if I filed bankruptcy, could I get my law license? Because when you're a lawyer, you're trusted with public money public funds and will they let me and it was a big concern the attorney I had for bankruptcy didn't give me any answers so I was kind of going into it blind and I think you know once I got out of law school I turned to my wife and who's still my current office manager and said we can do better than that and we can walk people through the process and also help them to reestablish credit and get that life that they really look forward to after the bankruptcy case. 